So we're in the airport in Addis, and we're about to board this little plane and fly over the Lucy site, home of Australopithecus afarensis, with Don Johansson, one of my childhood heroes, who has one of the original maps he used to work this place. I mean, how utterly cool is this? Hey, Don. Here we are. How you doing? Great. Welcome aboard. Right, you ready for this I am. I can't exciting adventure? Back. Excited is one word. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Just totally stretched out. Yeah. As a paleontologist, that is what I dream about. Now, see the volcanic ash cropping out? That's 3.4 million years old. That is incredible. One of our unique characteristics is walking on two legs. The question is, what did our ancient two-legged ancestors look like? A fossil found here in the Afar region of Ethiopia gives us a pretty good idea. Don's taking me to see where he found a 3.2 million year old hominid known as Lucy. It was a Sunday morning back in 1974. So I came up here, looked at this, had no idea what was waiting. It was right in this area, right here. What I saw was a fragment of bone, and I looked at it and almost instantaneously said, that's a hominid. Wow. Once we broke that three million year barrier, it was a whole new picture of what our earliest ancestors looked like. One of the most exciting moments of my, my entire career. Lucy made headlines around the world because although she looked a lot like an ape, she walked on two legs. She was a biped, and at that stage, the most ancient anyone had ever found. Beautiful view of the camp. Her bones are some of the best evidence we have for what early bipeds looked like. Now, of course, if this were all articulated properly, you know, the, with the vertebra on top of one you another, she'd be about three and a half feet tall. You don't see that. Yeah, you don't get that. Here's the femur. That's the left. Top end of the thigh bone. And this one also, I mean, when you put it all together, now you have, you know, this is telling bipedal, this right. is giving a hint of bipedal. This, bipedal. this certainly tells it was bipedal. That can't in like that which is very characteristic. Our knees are close together and they yeah, come up a, to the side. The so chimps come straight up. So that's another very important aspect. Having the upper and lower leg in a straight line is no good for a biped. It makes for an awkward waddling gait. Lucy's legs formed an angle. Her knees were close together, just like our own knees. This positions the feet directly underneath the body, making walking easier and more efficient. There we are. Lucy walked much like us, but she wasn't human. She had many primitive features, too. Isn't it interesting? They had the pile of bones. You put her here, and all of a sudden, you can see that it was a living person. She's beautiful. Yep. Thank you. And we named her after the people and the land. We named her Australopithecus. Afarensis, from the Afar region. So imagine if Lucy was here with us right now. What would she look like? Well, she'd be short. She's only about three and a half feet tall. And uh, the one thing that would be familiar to us is that she would be walking upright. But with those long arms reaching almost down to her knees, she'd probably have a very odd gait. And as she got closer, we'd see that she had a very ape-like face. I think in many ways, she looked like the ape that stood up. Yeah, amazing. You know, yeah. like the ape that stood up. Yeah, that's amazing. Lucy gives us a glimpse of a key moment in our evolutionary history. She tells us that by 3.2 million years ago, our ancestors had committed to walking on two legs. 